All right, welcome everybody to the September 1st Chaos and DEI uh, workgroup meeting. It's great to have you here. Uh, I am your facilitator for today, but before we move on to the agenda, who would like to facilitate next week? I That's will. Thing. I'm going to check my calendar to confirm, but I think I can do it. Yep, I can do it. All right. Thanks, Sean. All right. I don't know what Krillin is, Matt. I'll have to include a picture reference. <laughs> don't know what that is. All right. So uh, let's see. We're going to start off with some action items that we had left from last time. So I didn't do mine. So this was, so for the metrics release, does anybody, Matt and Elizabeth, remember this? So from the metrics release, each one of the new metrics has a checkbox of things that we're supposed to be taking a look at as part of that release. You know, kind of like every working group does this. So um, Matt or Elizabeth, did, did you do yours? Because again, I didn't do mine. I did one of mine. <laughs> Yay! Good job. <laughs> I didn't do time inclusion for events though, but I can do that right now. So let's, how about you, Matt? I totally forgot, but I'll um, do that for the next week for sure. I think a lot of us experienced that first week of class hysteria last week. So Elizabeth wins. <laughs> <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. Doing the bare yeah. minimum is, is really how I how Good I job. Was. Yes, exactly. <laughs> You're lifting us all up. <laughs> and that's an allusion to the film Office Space, by the way. <laughs> what is? Uh, I'd like to do the bare minimum. Okay. Jennifer Aniston says that. <laughs> well, good. Uh, thank you, Elizabeth. And just kind of as a point of reference here, let me go get. So you did time, you did time inclusion, is that right? No, I did my psychological safety. Oh. And I only did it because it was the metric that I had been working on. So okay. I mean, I added the checklist to the time inclusion for events, but I didn't okay. check anything off. So uh, yeah. I mean, adding the checklist is the first step, right? <laughs> So that counts for some, that's like the first check you get to well, And you know, let's be like the release just started today. So the, you know, so we're still, we're, we're not behind yet. Yeah, I don't even think that Kevin has all the metrics out on the website yet. So, oh, okay. We're good. So I'm going to share my screen here just so for recording and so Lauren and Kafaya also see this. So psychological safety. Elizabeth, was there anything like, on here. Oh, like, I guess I didn't finish checking them off. Okay, so I'll I just, quick, just okay, check yeah. them all. I mean, this shouldn't take like, <laughs> we could, we could do like, it's like taking a, like the ACT when you're tired. You're just like B, <laughs> B, 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 B. <laughs> I mean, I feel like we did these while we were doing it. So. All right. Well, I could actually go back and make sure though. Why don't, um, yeah, why don't, why don't you, let's go back and, so we have eight of 24, three of 24, five. Well, how about this? Psychological safety is ahead of everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so the idea, again, is we have these new um, checklists and the idea is, they should, I don't think they should take very long, but just to sit down and just kind of double check that checklist against the metric itself. All right, uh, okay, so I'm gonna, oops. Take this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, the, the next thing, and you know, we don't have a ton of items on the list today. So just, I think kind of because we've been pushing to get these metrics done as part of the release. So there were a few things that I wanted to also talk about um, you know, we've been doing this metrics audit. So this is an audit that some of you may or may not have seen. And so the metrics audit is, 
essentially taking a look at metrics within the chaos project that aren't in the DEI working group and kind of reflecting on how the metrics themselves might be uh, associated with DEI. So we in the kind of the DEI reflection group, there's a, a group that's kind of reflecting on DEI practices within the chaos project itself. We went through and, and tried to take a look at, at what those might be, just try to you know, specify how we think they might fit with respect to DE or I, or DE and or I. And so I think I, I rewrote a lot of these just from a, a perspective that I think it's just like a sentence or just two sentences that could be potentially added to the metric. Right, so the idea would be is that contributors, we would have to go back into any contributors as part of evolution and essentially add the sentence to the description as to why this is, um, this, this can potentially help understand or you know, kind of reveal DEI um, for this metric. Does this make sense for folks? All right, so, um, so I think we're pretty good there. The, the question that I guess I have is that should we push as the DEI working group that we want an explicit DEI section in every metric? Oops. Or do we want, and Sean had kind of put it in here, so I'll bring this up. So this, for the metrics template, Sean had proposed the following you know, each metric has the potential to influence DEI on an open source project. Please consider this, um, this influence when um, building out the definitions and metric objectives. And so the, the, I think the proposal would take on this metrics template that people will use in the future. And it would just be, I think a statement up here on top. You know what I mean? Is that right, Sean? Yep, exactly. Just, it's just a don't don't forget if if it has if this metric you believe has something to do with the EI, add it in these two sections here. And and I did actually do a there's a pull request open in the metrics repo to add that as a re, to update the template that already exists. Yes, we've already <clears throat> talked about that. So you yeah, were, yeah. So that's what it says. Yeah. Yep. And so um does anybody have any strong feelings as to just asking people to include this DEI component in these two sections or like including another two hashtag level header that says, you know, connections to DEI and it could be optional, mm -hmm. like where we actually put a header that says connections to DEI or do we just one is a bit more explicit because it gets its own header. And the other, like what Sean had done is a bit more um, just within the current construction of the metric template. I don't have super strong opinions about what we do. The reason that in the discussion I was in somewhere else that we decided not to do that was we were afraid it would be just uh, one of those headings that gets deleted when people do it. <laughs> But if we have the instructions and the heading, then I think we're giving two signals. Yeah, it would so just I, be a, yeah. yeah. So I mean, if it would kind of be one or the other, I think there would just be a heading, and in that heading would basically be like kind of what you had typed, Sean. Okay. Like, think about how this how this metric might be related to DEI. Okay. Yeah, and so my only concern about the heading is if it would like you know how. Uh, like, for example, filters or parameters or example visualizations are simply sometimes deleted. I, my concern would be that some groups might look at the DEI implications, not see or think about them and delete the heading. But it might be appropriate to delete the heading is, the, of course, the other side of that. So we've had a lot of pushback on adding a heading. I, I've seen a lot of people say, and I, that doesn't vibe with me, basically, um, when, when it comes to, and I, I've seen the argument too, that um, we're, we're given the DEI um, 
the DEI working group kind of oversight and giving it more power than other working groups is an argument I've seen before too. Um, I think it would be great to have a like a like an optional header that just gets people thinking about it instead of forcing them to um, uh, uh, contrast the implications of um, different DEI. Like I, I don't I, I know it can apply to every metric possible, but giving them the option I think is important. Elizabeth or Lauren or Kafaya? Um, I think when I, I was in that same conversation, Sean was um, about, you know, putting it in the, uh, integrating it inside the description and objectives. And I think it's a good idea because I think that as a user of a metric, if someone's kind of resistant to thinking about DEI, then they may just skip over that in their reading. They may just skip over that part um, if it's kind of separate. If then, it's a heading. If it's a heading, yeah. So, but if it's in the description, if it's in the objective, it's just another sentence, then they're like, it's it's more, um, uh, what's the word I want? Just more integrated within the metric. It doesn't, it doesn't force them to think about DEI in the center if they're not ready to do that. That's interesting because I hadn't thought about that. Um, I, I, I'll have a comment on that. Lauren or Kafaya? I don't know if either of you have a comment. I'm just totally buying into Elizabeth's, or Elizabeth's uh, <laughs> stance there. Uh, okay. Kind of agree there. Okay. It's it's funny because I before you said that, Elizabeth, like I was like, let's get a heading, and here's why. It's so that the other working groups are more deliberate in thinking about how their metric is related to DEI. And if you have to delete the heading every time, <laughs> like it's like, I'm okay pushing, you know, pushing that into Matt's point, like, like high, like giving DEI related issues uh, a, a larger voice than other working groups, fine with me, right? If, if you're pushing people to think about how a metric um, is related to DEI, so that was kind of my initial stance, like ask the working groups to really be deliberate about thinking about this. Um, but then to your point, Elizabeth, it's about, and I hadn't really thought about it, about like the consumption or the use of the metrics, which if there is an explicit section that people might just kind of go from description objectives and then just skip over to implementation. Like, I, I don't know that I have a great answer. So maybe, maybe then the, the correct thing is what Sean had proposed in the pull request. Let's just start there and include it, make sure that it's included in, in this part up here. You know what I mean? And we'll see how that goes. And maybe, you know, I, the other thing is to, to maybe offset my hope that we get the working groups to think about DEI, like between Matt and Sean and Elizabeth and, Myself, I mean, we're we're in all of the other working group meetings, so maybe that's something that we can continue to bring up. Like, oh, don't forget, there's this thing at the top, <laughs> you know, up here that that says, don't forget to think about it. So maybe we can just carry that message forward, kind of humanly, and not templatey. Okay. Um, so does somebody want to? So this, Sean, so this then would, yeah. so right now in the objective itself, there is a statement that says this can include a brief, and I think this is what came out of the prior discussion. Okay, I see, yeah. And your comment was to include it not just in like maybe you could update your PR. Sure, I can do that. Just say I made the PR. Can, and then in the PR also say I, add something, add something to the description. Okay. Like this. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, it does. But then we yes. have it three places. We would have it at the top. Yep. We yep. would have it here and we would have it here. 
got it. Is that? Yeah, I totally, what people, totally what got it. About that. <laughs> he was saying it pretty clearly <laughs> to, to people at that point. I mean, repetition is how you program people to think about something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't mean to. That sounds more cynical than I intended it to. But yeah, I was thinking of like what I what I repeat to you. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Well, yeah, and, and it's like I am learning. See, it only it's only taken seven years of repeating it. So, all right, all right. So Sean, so Sean is okay. So, so let's see, Sean. Was it description? Objectives. Object. Objective is already there. I think okay. description is where we needed to add it. Cool. Thank you. Um, all right. And then I had just something that's been kind of on my mind, which is the working group. Okay. So I think we can talk about this right now because we're kind of in a uh, quiet period with respect to building metrics. You know what I mean? We're in this spot where they kind of are in a release. And I, I don't know, it's nice to kind of just let the four metrics that have been produced kind of find their way to the, to the website. Um, so there's a, I think I've mentioned that there's a, a group that meets on Mondays that is kind of looking at, at DEI within the, within the chaos project at large and how we can continue to do better within the project itself. And this is um, kind of resulted in, in the conversation we just had about adding things to the template. This has resulted in our um, office hours. This has resulted in um, potential ways to contribute to the handbook to talk about DEI. So there are a bunch of things that have kind of come forward from that group. And I think we've talked about that here in this, this meeting before. So. Um, is our do people think that the role of the DEI working group is to continue to do that kind of work as well? So the metrics are clearly outwardly focused. So they are clearly meant to help others think about DEI within their own projects and within their own context. Do we see the DEI working group as it is, the people who are on this call, people who attend this work group meeting, to, to also continue to Kind of carry forward the work of the reflection team, you know, and, and make recommendations to the board and make recommendations to the working groups and to make recommendations because we're kind of doing it with the template, right? What are people's yeah. thoughts on this? What's our role? I've been waiting for this one. Um, oh, so, good. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Uh, so I, um, I was kind of wondering what people thought about um, onboarding as a DEI um, kind of, uh, I, I guess initiative is a good word for it, but it's not necessarily in the context of chaos, exactly what I would see it as, but it's something in which it, chaos works on onboarding through the DEI working group. Because um, I have been thinking about this for a long time, waiting for some kind of opportunity, but like, um, I think the onboarding and the chaos project has a lot to be desired, um, and and I I um, I'm not sure where to start on um, on helping improve that. Okay, I mean that's a, a great idea because that's like not a metric by itself, but it's a process by which the community could improve. All right, other people have thoughts. Personally, um, and y'all can disagree with me, it's totally fine. But my personal feeling is if we look at the other working groups, they don't take on additional roles. So like I would be hesitant to ask the DEI working group to also take on that role. Like we don't ask the risk group to continually do risk analysis of the chaos project itself and of the software and things like that. Um, so I would prefer to have a separate group be the ones to kind of handle 
those issues like onboarding and DEI stuff within the chaos project, just to not add additional burden to this working group. Gonna make that so tough. Uh, that being said, I could be persuaded to uh, change my mind. <laughs> well, you already said it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, part of me is like it's it's the amount of meetings that we have, and like, can we like what if we did something like even like the first or last whatever today is Wednesday of the month like that's when the like the reflection team could meet and so the DEI but then I hate to take away like work time from the work group too I, I would also add that this is the only working group that meets weekly and so we already have an additional burden so maybe we could change this working group to bi-weekly as we as the other working groups are and then use like you said use the either the off weeks for you know, for that kind of a, a a separate group, or like you said, once or you know the third Thursday or, or third Wednesday or whatever. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? It does. Yeah. So yeah, because I don't I don't think this um, the like process oriented or whatever like reflection oriented team would have to meet that regularly. Um, because like slow and steady can help i think mm -hmm. um, okay so maybe the recommendation would be dei or two to three times what do people think about this so recently i've seen a lot of meetings go bi-weekly especially over the summer and though they had a lot of momentum going from weekly to bi-weekly, once bi-weekly hit, it's not that they, it's not that all these groups just died off like immediately, but like uh, it, you, I think the DEI work group will lose a lot of the good, like the positive momentum it has if we move to bi-weekly. Uh, I kind of have an alternate idea um, to that is if we had some kind of rotating meeting spot in which we did DEI related meetings such as something like badging has been kind of low attendance. We could do DEI reflection. We could have an onboarding meeting, kind of like a carousel of, of, of DEI related initiatives mm -hmm. that throughout the month. I like that. Like maybe it's better suited to pair with the, the badging process. Cause that kind of, that's a, I mean, it's a process thing. Yeah. I just think that the DEI meeting is probably the most um, like to the hour meeting that we had that, that I've been going to consistently um and then that would uh, we'd lose a lot of that if we uh, went bi-weekly okay what are people thought thoughts about that that we just keep DEI as is as a weekly and then connect with some of the badging meetings to talk about process and like one week it could be about badging, one week it could be about onboarding, DEI carousel. Yeah. What are people, I mean, I agree. I actually like this meeting weekly. I have no problem with it on a weekly basis. Sean or Elizabeth or Lauren or Kafaya. No, I uh, have no problem on a weekly basis. Same. I think weekly meetings are a great idea and also people have schedule conflicts where sometimes they're not able to show up to a meeting if the meetings were bi-weekly if you don't come one week you're basically out for like four months if that makes sense. okay yeah. yeah that's a good point Elizabeth what do you think you're the community manager I mean <laughs> Ah, put her on the spot. I, I also enjoy these meetings, so I don't mind coming every week. I just didn't. I just want to be mindful of adding an additional burden to this group. That's all. You know, I just don't want to spread us too thin and put too much on our plate. Um, that's that was my only concern, really. Okay, um, Matt. How often does the like the the newly named carousel meeting happen? 
Is oh, that... that would just um so we have um like weekly badging meetings and i'm think those like i i get this afraid of making those bi-weekly too but if we if we put it in a rotating slot people would know where that time is mm -hmm. and then we could maybe put a plug of what the next rotating um rotating meeting is so like every it would be like every month you would get around to the next meeting of that type but mm -hmm. they'd be like low priority meetings basically what time when does it meet oh um we have um so we have if we moved I, i'd have to talk to the badging initiative people about like the the maintainers and the reviewers that attend the meeting and things like that but if we had if we had instead of two meetings per week, which I've been a little worried about, we could have something like one meeting per month, um, and then and then a regular meeting every week for uh, for regular weekly badging stuff, or something like that. But I, I'm not sure about the time, like maybe right before the weekly or DEI or something. Hmm. I'm like. Uh, like my brain is always conflicted with adding more meetings. Yeah. In this case, it would be it would be um, it would be the same amount of meetings, just more types in one spot. Okay. And then, I'm also conflicted with like the messaging we send to people. <laughs> like we have the chaos DEI work group meeting, and then we have the chaos DEI carousel meeting. <laughs> you know. And then, um, but then I'm also conflicted. Like, I think this is a good thing to continually reflect on DEI within the project itself. You know what I mean? Like, I don't oh, want yeah. to say, oh, we just can't, we shouldn't do that because we don't have time. Like, that's not an answer either. Maybe this is a spot where the focus moves to how we scale the project. So, could you talk more about that? Yeah, I mean, uh, it seems like and that at that point the chaos um like whole project seems to be experiencing some growing pains with um finding new ways to to innovate and to add to the open source community but we find it we find ourselves in a spot where we don't know how to scale up from here okay so maybe um how about this could we give an action item to everyone for next week Mm -hmm. to maybe think about how how we could have a DEI reflection meeting that would talk about things like onboarding, that would talk about things like, um, I don't know, recognition, that would talk about whatever it might be. And like when you think that might be most suitable, is it just to Matt's point of including it with like just a rotating weekly meeting that on the first whatever Tuesday, it's about DEI reflection. On the second Tuesday, it's about onboarding. On the third Tuesday, it's about badging. That's how I'm reading that. Is that right, Maggie? Or Maggie? I don't know why I called you Maggie. It's my oh, daughter. Okay. <laughs> um, so that, that's, you, you described it pretty well, yeah. Okay. Um, and then a welcome, okay. And so that so that so that carousel meeting would be then you're not sure when that is like that could and that's you're open to like that could be the hour before the weekly if, meeting. Or if something. it was something we put a badging meeting into, then it'd probably take up one of the badging spots, which are Tuesday at 10 a.m. Central, right before the chaos weekly, and then this one uh, the 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 badging weekly that happens and happened today and went well um that would happen at 8 30 us central so it'd be more time inclusive to a global community okay yeah we um this is fyi on somewhat related we moved the evolution meeting to 10 o'clock on every other tuesday this morning just because the eight o'clock or the nine o'clock meetings on wednesdays were not working okay so that moved to tuesday but, 10 a.m so we have almost no overlap between the badging meeting and the in fact, we have no overlap the last many months between badging and evolution. So, you don't have to call it a carousel. I just really like the term carousel. Do we get to ride a plastic pony? Yeah, or fiberglass. 
Oh, I guess you're right. That makes more sense than plastic. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So could, again, just can maybe action item, like we could bring this up next week and you could think about it while you're walking a dog or I don't know, whatever else you do during the week. That's pretty much it. Yeah, I do, <laughs> I do, I do often walk the dog, so. Yeah. Uh, all right, cool. Thank you for any last thoughts on that. All right, great, thank you. Um, so badging, Matt, looks like you're. I'm taking the floor today, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Go ahead. Um, so, but I just wanted to say, um, uh, Drew and Asta and I are working on um, some updates to the bot. We um, finally got the the new bot on the new server working and we're uh, we, we're implementing a new al algorithm for viewer assignment so it's just kind of housekeeping but we're really happy we got it working what uh, is it was a do? very silly issue uh, what's that what does the new bot do oh so um the new bot it's going to be very similar to the last one um both the, also an npm um and the big difference is that it's going to be taking on more tasks uh, with with kind of a, a smarter approach, um, such as assigning reviewers from scratch and making sure that it doesn't do like double assignments or anything like that. Okay. Um, and then uh, it does. It's doing a lot of checks to make sure it doesn't mess anything up at this point. So. Um, okay. And, and then the other one is um, I have a form um, link here. If you haven't already, please. Um, Fill out the form. Uh, get a get a sticker like Matt is holding up right there, and um, you might get some extras as well. Um, so that's that's all I have from the badging group. Um, I had a question on badging. How did the the discussion go around reviewer recruitment? Uh, we're starting our. Um, as Elizabeth mentioned uh, on the on the call on the weekly call, we are we are bringing the uh, outreach meeting back up, and it's going to be <laughs> on Tuesdays at 10 a.m. But uh, it, you'll have to decide between the evolution meeting and the badging outreach meeting. But um, we're super excited that it's coming back, and um, we we will. Um, that's going to be our our main focus coming into it because we need some um, some more consistent reviewers from here. Okay. Okay. What are your thoughts on getting more reviewers? Would you reach out personally? Like, I mean, we could use Twitter, of course. I could fulfill my existing responsibilities. Yeah, if you want to. And, and, uh, yeah, I do. I do. I, I uh, got a slow start, but. That's okay. Like a lot of people have said, especially in the chaos project itself, have, have been in the spot of, I have a lot of commitments. Uh, I don't have necessarily the time to do the reviews right now. I do want to mention it is like probably 20 minutes a week commitment. At, uh, and Matt can probably attest to that. Elizabeth yeah, can probably attest to that. So, um, um, How does one sign up to be a reviewer? I will um, go ahead and get that form and share it to you, Kafaya. Thank you. Um, awesome. And it, it just basically, it's a form about um, what kind of like, open source experience you have and stuff like that but if i if if we know each other it's not going to be as stipulative stipulative um and because um i'm just really excited to see um who applies to be a reviewer and um who's interested in that and especially in the chaos project so cool. i'll get you started i'm glad to great okay. thanks matt thanks kafaya uh, Matt C, do you want me to, or do you want to have a slot at the next community meeting to kind of make a, a call out for reviewers? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, I'll put it on the agenda right now. All right. Great. Thank you. All right. So honestly, we're at the end of the agenda. A lot of nice things to talk about today as we're kind of in this period of metrics kind of heading out the door. So does anybody have anything else they'd like to bring up? Go to the order kind of thing or y'all good? I've got the reviewer sign up here in chat, by the way. Okay. I just recently pulled it up. Thank you, Matt. 
And I need to probably open it up again too. <laughs> Yeah, because it says it's no longer accepting. Okay, I will go ahead and fix that. Thank you. All right, everybody. All right, thank you all. Thank you for the time. It's good to see everybody. See y'all later. See y'all later. Bye. Good to see you. Bye. Bye. Hey, Matt, are you still here? What's that? Are we have? Are we having?